glaze in the window, right? So I like to wear these nitrile gloves that are expensive as all get out now, but you keep your hands clean. So I'm gonna open up this wonderful multi-glaze type M for wood sash, my favorite glazing putty in the entire world. You know, the people that make this stuff, you know, this, this company is locally owned, I mean, in Chicago, run by people. It's not a corporation. They make the best product. You get it to us all the time. I love this stuff, you know, and I encourage you to use this stuff. And you know what? We have it for sale here at the shop, right? So, boom, there it is. What I have in here is water. That's a little trick to keep it fresh because this stuff is designed to get a skin on it really fast so you can paint it. It's professional grade. You know, it's really important you be able to paint this stuff in a timely manner. And so to keep it from getting a skin, you just put a little bit of water on it there and you can just dump that out. I'm gonna dump it out, out here. All right, so that's that. So first thing I'm gonna do, take a wad of this in my hand. I'm gonna knead it up mostly because I need to. I mean, you know, and what, here's another thing that most people don't realize is that this is a natural compound, right? It's a, it's, you know, it's got like, I'm not sure what they put, a calcium carbonate, oils and stuff like that. And they, I, you know, they mix it at their shop, you know, these big vats and stuff like that. But over time, the oils can start to you know, rise or, you know, and, and they separate. And so it's always a good idea to, Take the bucket out, set it on the table, mix it all back together again, and kind of reconstitute it. This uh, piece of glass I just cut in what's called a bed, right? So I'm going to bed that glass on this little shelf here in this glazing compound. Okay? See how I do that? Yeah. I challenge anybody be able to use my thumb technique to get that bed in there just like that. Most people really struggle with this move. Love it. Now, once you think you got that down, okay, then switch over and do left-handed. Okay. So you always want to be able to glaze right and left-handed. Because look, if you're not doing it right, you're going to be left out. There you go. You don't put any in the groove. Okay. So if the glass is going to slide it up in that groove, and if you put the putty in the groove now, then you have to force the glass in, to force the putty out to get it in. That's not what you want to do. There. This right there inside. Oh yeah. Okay. There you go. Sitting down perfectly. Mm, now watch. This is a, this is an important detail to get. See if you can look at the putty under that corner. Okay. I'm gonna press down. Okay. And you can watch that putty ooze out from underneath the, the glass. Okay. That's. The glass is pressing against the shelf. I'm creating a nice seal. Oh, look, I got something that came out there. Let me see if I put that back in. Okay. Boom. See that? Okay, I'm just going to press that down just like that. Okay, this is called bedding the glass. All right, and then you got to take a device like this one. This is my, my favorite clicker. This has got little diamond points in it. See? Got a diamond point right there. That's what holds my glass in place. I'll put one every, you know, six to eight inches, I guess, to hold it in. And then I'm gonna use my newest glazing hammer. We actually have a couple of these for sale in the shop that we got. I can't remember how much they are, but um, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the, the head is square and it's trapezoidal, right? And the idea is that's the angle that you need to come and drive these 
points in a little bit deeper. Sometimes they gotta be driven in deeper, right? So I'm gonna drive them in deeper because I don't want the point to stick out and interfere with my 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 glazing tool, right? So I'm, just, I'm gonna have this these glazing points poke out just enough to hold the glass, but not more so much that I interfere with my my uh, the glazing knife process. Okay, when you glaze, you're gonna you're gonna take your glazing, you're gonna apply it, and all this kind of stuff. But one of the things that you need to know before you really put the glazing putty, you know, in, okay, is you have to know that there's a line underneath the glass that you have to go to. And I'm gonna show you where that is right now by lifting the sash up like this, okay? See all this right here? This is all squeeze out, that's what that's called, okay? That's what we just pressed, the when we pressed the glass, that's what squeezed out underneath the glass. So. I'm gonna take and just carve that out right now, okay? And what that's gonna do is that's gonna en enable me to see from the other side. It's gonna allow me from the other side to see the inside because I don't want my glazing on the, when I put the glazing on the other side, I don't wanna see it from this side. This is the, in this is the inside, okay? So, gonna take that out right there. Gather this up. I can use this again. Okay. There. And now I'll introduce a magic dust. Okay. We've got that here. This is my magic dust brush. I'm just gonna brush off the oils off the inside there right now, okay? Okay, so that's the inside. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Yeah, put another ball in my hand and knead this up a little bit, okay? Okay, just put this in here. Right-handed and left-handed. Hmm, that's my thumb technique, right? Now I'm gonna use the palm shove. Shove it in with my palm. See that? Oh. Anyway, so I guess actually I'm gonna start in the corner over here. Okay, this is a this is a pull. I'm gonna tool away the excess. Here, okay. and then I guess I'll just go the excess here, and then nice. Okay. Then start it left-handed. That works. That works. Yeah. Now I'm gonna chop away the excess here. Put my running pick there. Put a running pick. For the center, corner chop. There we go. So one of the things I was trying to show you earlier about the um, that shelf on the other side. Mm -hmm. You can see that or not, but look, this little gray line right there. That's the interior of my shelf, right? That the glass sits on. And I don't want to see that. I don't want to see my glazing putty from the other side. So I intentionally leave it back about a 16th or an eighth or whatever is practical. And then I leave it back far enough so that I know that later on I'm going to paint it. I want to paint up to that line that I left, right? So I got to leave a little space. See that? So, and then to get, it, to get it really good, what I do is I go back and I focus on my corners, right? I'll go to my corners, right and left handed. Okay. And then Come in, do a little pick. Got the excess there. And I'll tune up everything is like I might get tuned up. There oh, then there's this here, okay? So you want to put some 
some putty in there. So I'm just gonna pack it in with my knife. Here, I'm gonna, my knife right there. Okay, I'm filling that gap. And okay. I'm just gonna get it in there at first, okay? Okay, so that's now we're almost done, right? Now the final step. Taking your magic dust. Okay, and you gotta dust all these fingerprints. I don't know if you can see the fingerprints of the mm -hmm. camera. Okay. But we're gonna erase all those with magic dust, okay? Glazing line there. Um, see, like this. And I, my pressure is on my glass. It's not like against my glazing there. It's on my glass, and that and that works pretty good. So inside here. And what this powder does is it licks up all these oils, all right, that are on the glass. It polishes the glass, and makes it real nice. You know, cleans it for you, you know? If you let those oils from the glazing putty sit on your glass, man, you'll be really kicking yourself because what that means is that you're gonna have to uh, get some kind of tool and scrape it all off, you know? Like a razor blade or something like that. Cause it'll set up on there and you'll be sorry. Okay, let's see. Boom. Okay, oh, oh there's another fingerprint. I see it. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can see it from this side. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, I mean, look at that. I mean, look at that line. See, isn't that nice? That's what. That's the kind of results that Sarco gives you. You know, it might take a little bit of practice, but. I mean, if you buy a sash from us, we're gonna give it. We're gonna give you the opportunity to glaze it yourself. That's how you glaze a sash, and you know you too can become a glaze master. A little bit of practice, you know, and a sash from us, <laughs> no problem. Steve Quillian, over now.